If you're moving to Boston and researching neighborhoods to live, it's very easy to get confused between Boston South End and South Boston, also known as Southie. The neighborhoods are right next to each other. They're both relatively close to downtown. The T runs along the border of each neighborhood. Their names are probably too similar. Seriously, the city planners couldn't pick more distinguishable names. However, for being right next to each other, these two neighborhoods are shockingly different and you can expect a different lifestyle in each. Watch this video to make sure you know whether you would rather live in Southie or the South End. And if you're moving to Boston, you can subscribe for videos of other neighborhood guides. Although they're right next to each other, these neighborhoods have two very different histories. South Boston was actually founded way back in 1635 and annexed into Boston in 1804, while the South End was underwater until two centuries later in the mid 1800s. From the time it was annexed into Boston through the end of the 20th century, the makeup of the people living in Southie have predominantly always been Irish Catholics, and there are obviously some notable exceptions, but that really has been the bulk of the population. In contrast, the type of person moving to the South End has always been changing. The type of immigrants and transplants to the South End have included some Irish Catholics, but at different points in time have changed to include Syrians, Greeks, Armenians, African Americans, Puerto Ricans, and additionally, the type of work of the person in the South End has changed. So Saudi has a history of gritty, blue collar, carry your lunch pail to work type folks. Historically, this portion of Boston was filled with locals that fit your stereotype of someone from the city, Irish Catholic, thick accent, blunt in your face, Although these were just stereotypes, and many of the locals who gave the area these stereotypes have been pushed out in recent years due to rising rent. You've definitely seen references to these stereotypes in various movies. Nowadays, Saudi is a hot spot for recent college grads moving to the city, and areas near the T have undergone a complete change. The South End has historically had a mix of creative types, artsy folks, along with a blend of descendants of immigrants who moved to the area over the years, especially those from Latin America. The South End has also historically had a sizable LGBT population, and this trend has continued through to today. Not that a member of this community wouldn't be welcome in Saudi today, but the South End has always had that history. The South End and Saudi also differ in their architecture, even though they're right next to each other. The South End contains beautiful Victorian brownstones. For a second, you might actually think you're walking the streets of Back Bay. In addition to these brownstones, you can find Flemish, Gothic, and Italianate styled buildings. Thought and planning also went into the tree lined streets of the South End. This mix of styles results in a picturesque and enchanting neighborhood that can be a great place to walk your dog. Southie, on the other hand, is filled with iconic triple deckers. The streets are not quite as tree lined and Due to their simple style, the triple deckers were likely much easier and cost effective to construct. You'll notice the South End is a bit more ornate and architecturally complex than Salvi. I'm not sure if the artsy folks who lived in the South End inspired the ornate architecture or if the ornate architecture inspired the artsy folks who live in the South End. Probably a bit of both. The architecture was also probably a product of the period in which it was built. Either way, I find it interesting that the buildings in the South End match what you would expect from an area with an arts and crafts scene while the traditionally blue collar South Boston has very straightforward and to the point styles. Another big difference of the South End and Saudi is the food and drink options that each neighborhood provides. Saudi has historically had some pretty great watering holes and even today newer bars and restaurants that have sprung up still cater to an audience in younger recent college grads that are on a bit of a budget and want to have a good time at a reasonable cost with maybe a few frills. Meanwhile, the RT scene of the South End carries over to its food selection. Many Bostonians will tell you that the South End, not the North End, is the food capital of Boston and they certainly have the evidence to make their case. Not only is the food in the South End delicious, but you can tell many restaurants in the neighborhood put the same thought into the presentation of their dishes as a painter on an easel. That sounded really bad. These establishments tend to be a bit pricier than Saudi restaurants, but the slightly older than Saudi crowd of the South End can afford it, and the food definitely fits with the vibe of the South End. As you can see, Saudi probably offers a bit more to those who are trying to have a late night at bars, while the South End is great for those who are going out for brunch or dinner and a drink. Not that you will have a bad time doing the opposite in each neighborhood, but generally speaking, this is how the going out scene in each neighborhood differs. Point of clarification that I should have said at the very beginning of the video, when I say Southie in this video, I'm excluding Seaport and Fort Point. Many people think of Seaport and Fort Point as their own neighborhoods, but technically they're a part of South Boston. However, if you drive around Seaport, Fort Point, and the rest of South Boston, you can see how the differences in each area are stark. So for the sake of this video, when I say Southie, I'm excluding Seaport and Fort Point. So this concludes my brief overview of some differences between Southie and the South End. This list is not exhaustive, but these are the main 
high level differences between the neighborhoods that were apparent to me. So please let me know if I missed anything in the comments. Please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for similar videos.